Hi guys, I am Sneha and you are watching my channel Book Junction. Welcome to today's video. Now this one is a highly requested video. A lot of you guys asked me for a long time to make this video and finally I thought I'll make this one. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a bunch of stationery supplies that I recommend if you are thinking about starting art journaling. However, I do want to let you know that if there are no must-haves in creativity. Whatever you have, you can start with that. When I started art journaling i did not really have a lot of stationary items i just started with my acrylic paint and a few other elements and obviously you can always think uh, in creative ways to um, you know use the things that you already have so you don't particularly need these items or these items are not really must-haves but if you are thinking about investing in journal supplies then yes you can definitely consider these items essential because um i definitely look forward to using them and i use them and i highly highly love them now i don't really think i need to tell you what are the benefits of journaling because we all know that it's very calming and relaxing especially if you're going through episodes of anxiety or you know stress then sitting down with a bunch of stationary items and creating a beautiful creative spread is always very therapeutic and it calms you down and on this note i want to introduce you to today's sponsor better help which is an online mental health platform that connects you with licensed therapists. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible and we all know that it's very difficult to find a good therapist especially around our area because you know we have very limited options around us. What BetterHelp does is it makes therapy um, very accessible because it's remote, it's online and you can get access to so many licensed therapists on this platform. So if you're someone who is dealing with clinical mental health issues or if you're just another human being who is going through all the orders of life and it gets overwhelming at times, therapy can help you by providing you tools to approach your life in a different way. You just have to fill out a few questions so BetterHelp can match you with your desirable perfect therapist who is professional and also can connect with you on a deeper level and just the way you want. By any chance, if you feel that the therapist you have been matched with is not the right fit for you and you would want to switch, then that's easily possible. You don't have to pay anything extra or additional. You can, um, you know, switch to a new therapist for free. And I think that is amazing because um, it's very important to have flexibility in therapy because it's like, it's very subjective and uh, it depends on person to person with whom you can connect on a deeper level. So I think this is, a feature that I personally love a lot. It's very easy to sign up and get matched with a therapist. There is a link in my description box. It's betterhelp.com slash bookjunction and when you click on the link you will get a 10% discount on your first month. So if you are struggling, consider online therapy with BetterHelp. Click on the link provided in my description box or visit betterhelp.com slash bookjunction. Once again, thank you so much BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's move on and talk about all the journal supplies that I highly recommend for you if you are starting your art journaling journey. Let's start with the most basic item which is a journal diary. Now I use the factor notes one. I don't have any complaints from this diary so far and I highly recommend you to go for a dotted one. These dotted lines are very um, useful in determining where you want to put the elements and if you're going to draw something then also it will be a really great way to start with. So if you're a beginner I highly recommend this factor notes one but you can get any other diary you want and I have used these stickers from print queens and I've stuck them all over my diary because I wanted a certain look so you can also stick uh, all these stickers on your diary to give it your personal look and this is uh, how it looks the second item is obviously pens now uh, other than your gel pens I highly recommend you to get um, a black pen which is either a brush pen or a sketch pen basically something which has a bold tip so this will help you to you know create all those brush strokes you know brush pen sto strokes and you can also use it to write on your diary because it will look more solid and 
लाइक दिस ऑल्सो यू कैन क्रिएट डिफरेंट कोटेशंस एंड गिव डिफरेंट लुक्स अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नीड्स सो अ ब्लैक पेन इज एन इज अ मस्ट एंड देन यू हैव योर अदर स्केच पेन और मार्कर्स लाइक दिस आई हाईली रिकमेंड यू टू गेट अ ब्रश पेन इफ यू आर थिंकिंग ऑफ विच हैज डूअल टिप ऑन वन टिप यू हैव द ब्रश पेन एंड ऑन दी अदर टिप यू हैव अ फाइन लाइनर because fine liners are great for writing down you know passages and i personally love to write a lot in my journal spread so fine liners are great for that also for intricate work if you are into drawing etc the next item is a base paper or uh, you know something that you stick as the base so either you can paint the whole page or you can stick something as a base and i love to stick all these uh, newspaper cuttings now you can get real newspaper cuttings or you can use these papers that are also available online you can get the newspaper print or you can just get some uh, you know different patterns and stick them as base and then you have material paper which is like you know a little more um, you know flexible flexible as in it has a different charm to it and when you stick it on the base it layers up and it looks really beautiful adds dimension to your thinking and to your creativity and it just looks like you have put in a lot of effort even though you have just you know stuck one paper over the other so this is another example uh, i've got these stationeries from different brands i will link them in the description box now uh, to, these days there are so many instagram stores so you can get anything and they are also very cheap because they are selling it uh, in indian rupees and then i have this little notebook kind of thing i'm sure you must have seen these on instagram or pinterest and they have such cute little patterns on them so if you stick it it's it's beautiful if you have a smaller diary then i highly recommend you to get something like this because the length and width of this is very small and also it's just so cute to use these items like when i look at these beautiful patterns and this little tiny diary it instantly makes me really excited to create something so th for that reason also you can invest in something like this and then of course stickers how can we not talk about them stickers are just such a great way to elevate whatever you have created to fill spaces in your spread or you can also use a sticker as the main element so something like this where you get these girl stickers frame girl stickers these girl stickers are um, like trending a lot these days so i highly recommend them they really add an edge and then you have all these aesthetic stickers which have um these oil painting designs or any other designs for that matter there are so many options available these days it's insane and for junk journaling people use different kind of pop culture uh, stuff and these tetra packs are also like used a lot by people who are into junk journaling and then of course your flower stickers butterfly stickers these stickers are like you can use them always because they go with everything you can also go for any particular design for example starry night or if you are a fan of a particular painter or an artist then you will definitely get uh, sticker packs which are filled with um, you know pictures and stickers of their paintings or their photos so something like that is also um, highly recommended by me i love this pack and there are so many stickers in this one and for the price it was really good so this is just an example of a spread of mine where i have stuck so many stickers there are dot stickers also these circle stickers which uh, are great for filling spaces and for creating a palette out of your whole thing and then we have aesthetic pictures now aesthetic pictures are good to create a whole vibe so sometimes you are thinking about a sunset you know and a sunset pictures picture will really elevate your spread then we have the sky pictures we also have landscape pictures greenery i particularly go for green color a lot because it's one of my favorite colors and greenery instantly makes me happy so since there is no greenery around me sometimes choosing a green color picture really helps so this is just an example of a spread where i have used these uh, pictures and how beautifully they elevate the whole thing and i tend to write a lot and sometimes i write according to the picture or sometimes i stick the picture according to what i've written and then 
there are these small small pictures also that you can get in different themes this one is a yellow sunflower theme and there are also other uh, themes then i have got this flashcard kind of a you know picture set where I, these pictures are all from movies or series and this is a pride and prejudice one i've already showed you a one spread where i used it you also get uh, this one is a van uh, van gogh in inspired one i think and it also has some monet paintings as well so this is also one of my favorites i tend to use it a lot and it's just so vibrant and colorful that uh, here you can see i've used the pride and prejudice picture for this spread which is inspired from pride and prejudice itself now glue tape is a must if you are go going to use all these elements that i've showed you till now because um a lot of times the acid paper or these material paper do not go well with glue uh, so you need a glue tape for this because this is just so fuss free and it's so easy to use your fingers won't get messy with glue and it's i highly recommend it and then we have washi tapes now washi tapes are good if you want to like stick them around the edges and write something or create something or you can use it in your own different way now you can get them in block plain colors or you can get uh, some themed one aesthetic ones there are so many um themed washi tapes in the market and it's up to you how you're going to use it you can you know uh, stack one tape on the other and it's like totally up to your creativity i have used it in different ways you can use the themes one themed ones uh, like this and there are also these thin tapes which i've used here so uh, you can also stick other elements over washi tapes like i've done here so yeah it's it's just a whole vibe and uh it's totally up to your creativity and how you're feeling uh, and then you can use them uh, just the way you want to and then there are these aesthetic elements i've kept them in one um category so there are so many interesting elements these days like for example this one it is like a dictionary kind of a thing not dictionary but a word dictionary and you can stick it and it just looks so pretty then you have these thick cards which you can use it's also good for craft when you are creating something then you have these beautiful aesthetic pictures in the theme pink so these days pink is um trending because of barbie so if you are going to create something like that this some an, an, an element like this will help you a lot to create that then there are so many more painting inspired vintage um aesthetic elements for example this one which has all these beautiful paintings which you can stick over a themed spread if if you are like you know creating something victorian or gothic and then you go for something like this it will look so pretty then there are post it notes dot stickers so many beautiful items you have some more uh, aesthetic elements over here you know these uh, studs and um pictures in a particular theme then you have word stickers word stickers are great actually to fill up spaces and to give meaning to your spread sometimes if you don't want to write something here is an example where where i have used the word stickers and also that um, you know dictionary thing and i've also written stuff so you can obviously combine different things and it's like if you want to write or if you're just not feeling up like writing and you're just going to stick things together and you want to relax so you don't want to think too much about all of these things that's when you go and purchase such a journal items because otherwise it's not like necessary there are a lot of people who use their journal diaries for just creating art and they sketch and draw and here i have also drawn these leaves but i've also stuck items together so it's like a combination and lastly you know miscellaneous items for example scissor you are obviously going to need some scissors this one is a really sturdy one and this is very compact if you are you know traveling with a pencil case this is great for that and it's also very good then you will definitely need need these um you know uh, correction tape which will help you if you have messed up something then your ruler eraser pencil i don't really use pencil that much that's why i haven't used this eraser at all but if you are going to sketch or draw then i highly recommend you get recommend you to get something like this all right guys so that was all for today's video i really hope that you all enjoyed this video and found it valuable if you did then definitely like share and subscribe and comment down below which item you loved the most and i'll see you in my next one until then bye bye